All right, as a matchmaker, here are things I would never ever do. I would never date somebody who is still legally married to somebody else. It's just a huge, huge waste of your time. And if he's affluent, if he's an affluent man, then this divorce will drag on forever because usually the reason these things drag out is money. They're fighting over money. All right, don't go there. Another thing I would never do is I would never ever consider marrying somebody without living with them first. You need to live together. You need to figure out, you know, the good, the bad, the ugly, all sides of somebody when they wake up, when they go to sleep. And I'm sorry, but even spending time in each other's place is not like sharing the rent and all of the bills. I would never, ever, ever date anyone's potential. Been there, done that. That is a road to hell. I would never date somebody over a year unless they had planned a date, an engagement, and there was the end of the rainbow with a pot of gold waiting for me, all right? Because too many people waste too much time. They waste years and years. And the truth of the matter is, if somebody really loves you, if they're ready to spend time with you, they will know after a year. So then what's the wait beyond that? It's just somebody who's unsure. Oh, this will piss people off. <laughs> I would never even consider marrying anybody without a prenup. Because if I had assets that I wanted to protect, the best way to find out if somebody is just in it for the money or in it for love is whether or not they'll sign on the dotted line. And I'm going to toss one of my personal passions in here, animals. All right, never, if you're just dating somebody, adopt or get an animal that you're going to share jointly together. That is the dumbest thing I've ever heard of because who gets the pet when you break up? And I know too many people who've tried to share custody of the pet and that's a nightmare as well. And it creates more drama for the next person that you're going to get involved with if you're still sharing custody of an animal with your ex. So just don't do it. It's silly and it's irresponsible for the pet more than anything else. And last but certainly not least... I would never, ever, ever date anybody or, God forbid, marry anybody if they weren't radically rocking my world sexually on a regular basis. Why would you want to cohabitate, date, marry somebody if they're not a fantastic sexual match for you?